like any kid, it's the excitement of seeing the fire trucks going down the street, making all the noise, and guys getting off with all their equipment. It just seemed like a very exciting job. Each day is a little different. They're never the same. Um, you have no idea what's going to happen. One minute you could be sitting there eating dinner with the guys at the station, uh, and two minutes later you could be going down the street, going to a structure fire, going to a cardiac arrest, an overdose. My job on the Portland Fireboat is to be responsible for the safety and operation of the crew. We handle five islands in the Casco Bay. We basically do what every other firefighter does, except we do it on the water. And I'm not the best at my own health care. Um, my wife um, directs me to do a better job of it than I do. And so recently the Portland Fire Department heard about a clinical trial that was happening at MGH looking at lung cancer risk around, uh, among firefighters. And they wanted to be a part of it. We are interested in trying to understand if they're, the exposures to smoke and other chemicals that they experience as part of their job um, makes them high enough risk to recommend lung cancer screening. We know because of their occupational exposures have an increased risk of cancers across the board, lung cancer and many other types. We have a clinical affiliation with Mercy and I think we can set up a, a pathway that if the firefighters in Portland want to be involved in this clinical trial, we could actually have the CT scan done at Mercy. The uh, firefighters then get scheduled, and when they arrive here to be scanned, um, I'll go and get them, I bring them in. I kind of briefly explain the scan process, what they can expect. How many years in total have you been a firefighter? Uh, 33 years. Because it's close, it's convenient. I live uh, only 15 minutes away from here. Um, so yes, it, it, it was very nice of Mercy to be able to partake in this study with Mass General. Sounds good. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Dr. Yawa not only called me, he called all 50 people in the scan and talked to them. He called us, uh, me up and said, I need to see you this week. That was an eye opener, you know? Um, you know, it, it shows us our mortality. Okay, what do we do? And he said, we're just gonna scan you every three months. And if it grows, we know we need to go in and take it out. You're good to go, recovery is a week or two. This is one of those good news, good news things. You know, even the bad news is good news. It's, he said, you know, they, he said, virtually 100% chance of survival. It gave me my life. You know, it could potentially have, you know, it could have gone the other way. If, if this turns out that it's active and I didn't find out. Perfect, you are gonna go into the machine all the way to your chin. It's pretty amazing. I mean, any, any day that you work in healthcare is, is gratifying because you know you're helping people every single day. And actually, as the wife of a firefighter, um, I've been aware of their increased risk of cancer for, for many years. So to be a part of something that's going to help these men and women in the future, really, it just, it speaks to my soul. I want to know whether or not, for me, through this study, do I have something um, that could be caught now so that I can actually see my daughters get married, have grandchildren. Um, I want to be there for that. Um, I don't want to be one of the statistics uh, where you know, retire at 55 and gone at 65. So I actually want to, I want to be here for as long as possible. My theory of my way I live my life is you should never be so afraid of dying that you're afraid to live. 